What's going on, everyone? It's Badger here. And for some reason, J.J. Abrams and, by association, Bad Robot continue to get work. I don't know why. They've utterly destroyed Star Trek in the film universe. Of course, Robert Kurtzman took care of destroying it in the actual streaming TV universe. With the uh, small exception of Picard Season 3, written by Terry Metalis, which did all he could to resurrect that show. Did a pretty good job. It's the only watchable thing that, for a moment, it seemed like it was Star Trek and the characters I remember. J.J. Abrams' uh, production company, Bad Robot, is giving us another uh, Star Trek, and this time it's going to be an origin. And they're still apparently trying to develop that Star Trek four that none of their original stars want to return for that they've been developing for going on five years now. Oh, is the article from Deadline. Paramount expands Star Trek universe with new film. Andor's Toby Haynes tapped to direct with Seth Graham Smith. Hyphenated name. Seth Graham Smith writing exclusive even as it continues to develop the final chapter in its main Star Trek series which they're considering Star Trek 4 Paramount is looking to further explore the IP the studio has tapped Toby Haynes to direct a new film that expands on the Star Trek universe with Seth Graham Smith pinning the script JJ Abrams Bad Robot is producing why why do you keep giving them fucking work have they not proven that they don't know and or give a shit about star trek give them another star wars movie while you're at it like how how do these people keep getting work i don't i literally don't understand this one sources tell who does jj have pictures of it paramount sources tell deadline that while plot details are being kept under wraps the project is an origin story oh jesus christ because that's what we all need is another origin story or anything. Everything is a reboot of a reboot. All the origins are done. We know where everyone came from. That takes place decades before 2009 Star Trek film that rebooted the franchise, which in and of itself is fine, but it's a horrible Star Trek movie. has none of the themes or it just... Ugh. Insiders add that the final chapter in the main series, Star Trek 4, remains in active development. Yeah, that was the one that they said they were developing, and all the stars were like, what? Uh... Although there hasn't been a film since 2016 Star Trek Beyond, which I challenge anyone to recite the plot of, beyond the fact that they vaguely remember uh, Idris Elba in it, the brand remains as strong as it has ever been. That's a fucking lie. Remains as strong as it's ever been behind popular Paramount Plus shows like Picard and Strange New Worlds. Holy shit. No, none of those are popular, with the, with the slight exception of, as I mentioned, Picard Season 3 having good... But oh, are you kidding me? This, this, Star Trek has never been in a worker a, a worse spot. Oh, the brand. The, this just shows again the cognitive dissonance of all these fucking companies and what they think the brand. I bet. Uh, I bet. I bet Lucasfilm thinks Star Wars has never been stronger. But they. I bet Marvel after Echo thinks, oh, it's just never been stronger. It's big, it's bigger than uh, right right after Endgame or right before Endgame. The Brian Robbins-led Paramount saw an opportunity to build on the popularity with multiple films in development, the same way its streaming arm had multiple shows going. I hear Gary from Nerdrotic and and Burnett, uh, Robert Meyer Burnett, fucking laughing in the background. Uh, in doing so, the studio's hands over the reins to two individuals familiar with dealing with major IPs and fucking them up. Well exception of one well we'll get into that one haynes was the main director on the star wars series Andor, which for a lot of it was boring as shit even if technically it was directed well so no fault to haynes on that which has become one of the more critically acclaimed series in its own universe. yeah and everyone was basically like yeah, yeah do what you did for Andor, but with characters and a story that people give a shit about uh Andor is up for eight of course it's eight it's up for eight emmys uh, Smith made his big break as a novelist with hits like Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. Haven't seen that banger. And since turned into one of the go-to writer producers in the genre and fanboy worlds. His credits include producing it and pinning the Lego Batman movie, which by all accounts, everyone loves. So Haynes and Smith are repped. Yeah, I don't care who they're repped by. Okay, yeah. The point is, which you should all be worried about, I'm sure it'll be directed just fine, is that the script is being produced Pinning the script, J.J. Abrams' Bad Robot is producing. So even if he makes a good script, J.J. Abrams' Bad Robot is going to fuck it up. 
I have no faith in them. Tell me the last thing Bad Robot has done that's been amazing. I'll I'll wait. You go ahead and put it in the comments. Oh boy, are you is anyone watching Star Trek? You let me know. Let me know in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. You've done that. Thank you. If you're gonna do that, thank you. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, stop hiring JJ, everyone. Stop it. Bad Hollywood executives.